morning guys. I must say that this was one of the better camps. Uh, the only concern really was the noise of the water. It did get a bit chaotic last night and I couldn't really like sleep properly, but that's just me complaining. It worked out so perfect too guys with the sun just rising right over the water there. I can't get over this camp spot. Just doing some brekkie, some baked beans on the go. Then we're gonna get ready to get out of here. Just leaving camp guys, and uh, we've got the lighthouse over there. Spectacular views all around. Sun, just hidden behind the clouds there, but the lighthouse is back here. We're gonna go back around the lighthouse and get back on to the Euro Vilo number one. I've been absolutely honoured to have such amazing tailwinds for the last like three, three or four days. I think it's been about three days, and all of it seems to be just tailwind right underneath my sails, and it's just taking me to the very northern point of Scotland. It's just so cruisy. Just like I'm just rolling along here, and I'm I can't believe how freaking how good this weather's turning out to be. Um, the sun's just popping up, you know, every single day, shine on us, and uh, yeah, I'm just uh, I'm in a good state of mind right now. Another castle. See what we can see from the outside. So guys, we're not far at all from Aberdeen, I believe for only like five miles or something like that. Um, it's not the biggest city, I thought it was bigger than it is. It's only got about 200,000 people in it. But just stopped here on this bench, a random bench on the side of the road. We have another perfect view. I had to trek the bike down some steep hills, which I'm gonna have to climb back up. So just cruising out of Aberdeen, uh, not much of a city dweller to be honest. Kind of, kind of, uh, always crave for the countryside. So, in and out, just a quick visit, and um, I don't know where I'm going. The road just ended. So right now we're on a really nicely paved cycling path that's just dead straight. Just keeps going and going and going. I'm riding it and uh, I'm almost getting ready to set camp up, I reckon. I'm at a point now where I'm feeling a little tired in the legs. Just ticked over 70 miles for today. Um, I think that's 100 kilometers, maybe even more, I don't know. I'm really uh, dumbfounded when it comes to that conversion. However, just rolling along, 
Um, you know what? That bench right there looks really comfy. Oh, camp, camp. We'll find something better, hopefully. Let's keep rolling along for a bit longer. At the moment, it's just farmland. You can't really like jump into a paddock. It's just fences and stuff, but we'll see what's up ahead. riding along this road here um, and I saw a path down here so I think this is where I'm just gonna pop in for tonight I had a walk I went for a bit bit of a walk down the path there and it seems like uh, it could be pretty good for camping um, so yeah I'm gonna go so now I'm gonna get the bike and I'm gonna hike it in okay so this is the scenario I hiked like probably half a mile down there and I just couldn't find anything like it's just like all swampy and it's all overgrown so it's like really hard to find flat ground pitch a tent so i'm just gonna have to retreat back to just around here i found like a spot that looks pretty decent i mean it's pretty cool it's got a running stream along here so i can do dishes and bathe if i wish but it's not like one of those really amazing camp spots it's like an average above par camp spot so it's still beautiful it's still a decent camp spot, that's for sure. Right on the route, so you can't get it right. But yeah, I just, I just gotta find somewhere to pitch the tent. So I just set the tent up in the back corner here of these fields. Um, I hiked through these bushes here the long way around. I should have just took them apart, but I'm trying to find some somewhere that's sort of pitch in there. But I ended up getting a tick bite, which isn't good. So I had to remove the tick and I'm gonna just get in the tent, have dinner and just do a tick check and make sure that there's no other buggers on me, yeah. I'm kind of a bit reluctant to get out of the tent this morning. It is Sunday so I've given myself the excuse to sleep in a little bit. Plus the body is feeling a bit sore so I'm just sort of using it to rest a little longer. But, oh. Those clouds look like it's going to rain. It, al it always looks like it's going to rain here in Scotland. Uh, so I'm just going to hold off and have some breakfast and just uh, see what happens. But it feels like yet again another tailwind all the way up north. So what we do here is go back, 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 back. on the road pretty crazy I just left camp and I just looked over through the, the bushes and the scrub back there and there was a lady walking her dogs right by where I set up the tent so I didn't get in so I didn't get interrupted by any dog walkers this morning if it was a 10 minute more of a sleep in probably would have
So just got out of this co-op, guys. And we got a bag, chockers of food. Got to fit it in the panniers again, but um, yeah, I've had a headache all day, so got to get some food in. So much food. craziness and it's charged my stuff. So the more I ponder and the more I think about this spot, I really think it's quite a good spot because we've got charge. I'm willing to take opportunity of it and just wait around here and camp here tonight. So there's some fields and stuff out the back here. Might even just pitch a tent right here, right next to the charge. Just doing a bit of a cook. I'm on the side of the building. I'm cooking up a lentil soup right now that I got um, reduced to one pound five pence and um, heating that up right now on the tranja well the flame struggling to get going I think it's up ever since those kids poured something in there um, well we got that camp on the lawn front lawn um, yeah I don't know what they put in there but ever since then that hasn't been fueling properly, the little buggers. But anyway, we'll get that heated up and uh, eat it up. So uh, that's the setup right now. I don't even know, I might even lay here tonight. Who knows? I think this is a pretty good camp setup. What do you guys think? Actually, I haven't showed you guys the view. Let's check out the view. I haven't even seen it for myself, to be honest. But I dare say it's pretty much almost as good as the van life is just over there. Saw some van life that's just cruising about here. But it's, I mean, it's quieting down now since it's hit seven. Not many people at the park and stuff, but. Look at this. Days. All right, guys, so it's getting pretty dark. Oh, my face is all messy, excuse me. Um, but. I've changed camp spots tonight. I'm camping on a ship. So there's the park here. I was back over there by that building. There's this ship here. It's like a playground. It's called the Barnes Pride. And uh, it's an enclosed area. And I'm camping in it tonight. It's, oh, look at that. It's a homeless person's dream. It's got the steering wheel. Um, I'm gonna lay down here. It's off the ground. The ground around here is a bit messy. Surly's here. But yeah, it's insulated. It's definitely much warmer um, than out here. And it's closed as well. So it's raining a lot tonight. So this should keep me pretty sheltered. What a camp spot. Oh, it's morning. Oh, it's a pretty rough night's sleep. 